Hi friends, this is Daniel Research and welcome to the part number 10 of Cryptocurrency Arbitrage Tutorial. In this video series I will show you how to build your own Cryptocurrency Arbitrage bot. We are getting closer to finish. In the previous videos we have implemented Market Data Receiver, Data Analyzer and Position Manager. And the only model we need to implement is Trade Executor. Trade Executor is responsible for trading mechanics like orders placement on the exchanges, checking orders and cancelling them if necessary of course. Probably Trade Executor is the most complex part of arbitrage bot and for the sake of simplicity I'll show you very basic implementation of it. We have only two tasks in Trello which explain our approach to trading mechanics. Once we have arbitrage opportunity, bot will simultaneously place two limit orders on Polonix and Bitfinex. Because we place limit orders, the immediate execution is not guaranteed, so bot needs to periodically check where the orders were executed or not. In the meanwhile, Bot will suspend all arbitrage activities until both orders will be successfully executed. Today we'll implement the first task – orders placement on Polonix and Bitfinex. So let's start coding. We will work with Polotrade.js and BFXTrade.js. And first of all we need to add mode property to both objects – BFXTrade and Polotrade. So let's begin with Bitfinex. So let's create mode property and this mode property may have two states buy mode or sell mode. But for now it would be empty property. Okay. And now let's create function trade. Let's go to the bottom of this object somewhere here and create function trade. This would be function, of course, and it will, will have following parameters. The first one is pair name, pair. The next one is price, followed by amount, and of course, callback. Okay, let's begin implementation of this function. Bitfinex REST API version 1 has function new order, which allows you to place new orders on Bitfinex exchange. This function has following parameters. First one is symbol, which is our pair name, followed by amount and price, so it's very simple here. Then goes site, which equals to our mode, either buy site or sell site. As type, we will use exchange limit type, which means that we are placing orders on the spot exchange and order type is limit order. Then goes exchange, the only way possible value here is Bitfinex, and the rest of parameters will be skipped in our case. On the right hand side you see the example of the output. So it contains order ID. This order ID will be used in the future for order tracking and information about our order. So in order to implement trade function, let's firstly create our traditional self variable. Self equals to this. Then let's make some console log message about entering into trade console log pair name, entering into trade. And then let's use REST object, which gives us access to Bitfinex API, and use this function new order. Now let's place all required parameters. The first one is pair name followed by amount in string format to string. 
followed by price in string format to string followed by exchange type which is Bitfinex followed by site which is mode in our case so self mode and other type which is exchange limit order and of course callback callback will have two variables which is error and data so now let's implement callback in case of any errors let's make a console log message like console log error to string in case of bitfinex we have to add to string function and else if we do not have any errors so firstly let's make a message about successful order placement console log pair name order was successfully placed on Bitfinex. On Bitfinex. Price. Price and amount amount side self mode so this message will give us detailed information on what is going on on Bitfinex exchange and here we'll call callback function in the next video when we'll work with order checks we'll modify this function and we'll use order id in order to track order but for now we'll skip this part we have just finished implementation of trade function on the bitfinex side so let's save this code and go to polytrade.js and do the same so firstly let's begin with mode property mode equals to empty string and then let's go to the bottom of this object and create trade function trade equals to function and it has the same parameters per name price amount and callback Now let's implement it. Unfortunately, unlike Bitfinex, Polonix has two separate functions for buying and for selling. But all these functions have the same set of parameters. That is why I have created a custom function trade which uses the same parameters and allows you to place both buy and sell orders. Let's look at the example of the output. Here example of the buy or function, but for sell it would be the same. It contains order number, which is order ID and will be used uh, for order tracking, and some other information about the order. So in order to implement this trade function, let's also create a traditional self variable or self equals to this and let's also make a console message console log pair name entering into trade on polo now let's use polo rest object to call trade function follow rest trade 
and here we need to provide a JSON object with set of parameters. First one is pair name, which equals to pair. The next one is rate, which equals to price to string. String. The next one is amount, which equals to amount. And the last one is type which equals to self mode and of course callback. In this case callback has also two variables which are error and data. And let's implement this callback too. It will look like very similar to Bitfinex, so if any error console log error else let's make a console log message about successful order placement console log pair name order was placed on follow price Price amount amount and type self mode next time we'll also modify this function in order to use order ID for order tracking. But for now, let's only call callback function. That's all. We have just finished implementation of trade function for Polonix. Let's hit save. And actually, we have completed all tasks for today. Let's go also to Trello and move place orders on Polonix and Bitfinex into done tab. Because now we are able to do this. In the next video we'll continue implementation of trade executor and we'll implement function that checks orders on Polonix and Bitfinex. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!